Hey guys, this is a quick little tutorial on how to add a emulator or application in OpenDingX. Um, OpenDingX runs GMenu2x. It uh, comes to this default screen when you boot up. Actually, it comes down to applications there. Um, you can browse between the sections. You got applications, emulators, games, and settings. You can browse through those. You can skip to them by using the left and right shoulder buttons. Let's go over to settings. In settings you have power off, reboot, and you have the main menu settings. To go into the each folder or each option, you can just press A. So I'm gonna press A there. This is where you can select your language. Uh, save last selection means uh, when it reboots, the next time it'll be on that actual icon that you launched last. Here's the clock for the menu, uh, the speed, the maximum overclock, um, I set it to 430. Uh, I think that's the highest you can go. Uh, global volume, you pretty much know what that means. Output logs are used for debugging. You don't need to have those on. LCD backlight, um, I set it to 100%. And then you can set your stream timeout. Um, to go back, you can just press start. And let's uh, add an emulator. It's very easy. Uh, just get to the session that you want and then you press select and then say and then browse to add link and emulators and press A and you're presented with the following two things uh, the MMCC BLK0P1 is your memory card and the CCNANDB is the Dingu's internal memory you can um, what's cool about it is that you can actually share your ROMs from the native OS with the Dingux OS the bad thing is, is that if save states on your emulator are set to save them to the actual root, I mean, I mean the ROMs directory, they won't work because you cannot write to the NAND. So I'm going to go ahead and just browse to my emulator that I want to add. Let's add uh, Dingux 7800. You can scroll down, you need to go and select the actual executable. Um, to get there faster, you can use the left or right shoulder button and it'll jump some for you. There's Dingux at 7800. Press A to select it, and it's added. There you go. Uh, some games don't have, I mean some emulators don't have a front end. So in that case, you can just use the um, directory browser. To do that, just add an emulator. Uh, GNU Boy doesn't have a browser. We'll use that one. Select the executable. And then um, go ahead and go back to it once you select it and press select and then edit and go down to where it says selector directory and then browse to your ROMs then press start and then go down to where it says selector browser and select on and then press start again now when I click on the uh, GNU boy it brings up my ROM listing and I can use those. I can use that to launch my game. That's pretty much it. It's nice and easy. It's really smooth. Everything runs pretty good. Um, I really enjoy OpenDingX and I hope they continue to work on it. Hey guys, this is OpenDingX. I'm going to show you some of the features that it has in some of the settings and show you how to set up shortcuts for your emulation games. Huh? It's out of freaking asshole. Fuck! I was actually saying shit right, bitch. <laughs> you're, well, you're so fucking mean. What the hell, man? That's going on the fucking blooper reel. <laughs>